Hey everybody, Payments Professor here, and we're beyond the bow tie. It's time to go beyond the bow tie. Lights, cameras, sound, action. Beyond the bow tie. In the Beyond the Bowtie series, I've been doing a lot on sound and I've got a lot of questions. And one of those questions was, do you seriously hang moving blankets up to be able to help control the sound? And yes, yes, I actually do. Especially if I'm recording or if I'm in a very important meeting or if I'm gonna be doing a webinar for somebody or even virtually hosting an event, I wanna make sure I control as much sound in the house as I can. As you saw from the faster payments video the payments professor did with Bolty, our little pug, well, he's just one of four animals or four dogs that we have in the house. And you know, if the doorbell rings, they can get a little excited. And well, in our current business as unusual environment, Amazon tends to make a lot of visits to our house, so we get a lot of dog barking. And I don't want that to disturb my recordings. I don't want it to disturb any of the online events I'm doing. So yeah, I will actually hang up some moving blankets. Now a little bit more on that. I do take my moving blankets and check it out right there. You can see I put a grommet on there. Now you can get a grommet kit from someplace like Lowe's, Home Depot. I bet you can get one online too. And the grommet kit's real easy that you can be able to put eyelets in it. Now the eyelet, I've got on here what you call a bungee ball. So I take the bungee ball, I put it on here because what I've done is in my walls, I've actually put these little eye hooks. Now I, I kind of bend the eye hook up because it makes it real easy to be able to hang it just like that. Now, a lot of people are just like, my wife's not gonna let me do that. Or I had one lady who replied, uh, no, I'm not going to do that to my house. Well, the only thing that you're gonna see is going to be this. Now, what you can do with the eyelets, or uh, that I've told a couple of people at least, is get them the color of your walls or paint them the color of your walls. If you've got some of that leftover paint, you can take it, just dip it in, let it dry, then you can put it in there so it doesn't stick out that much. And you don't need many blankets. One blanket in a hallway, it will stop so much sound from coming through. Now, you do want it to have it tight. You want it tight. You don't want it just sagging there. And you want it to cover as much space as possible so it can capture all of that sound. So again, how am I doing all this? Moving blankets, they're not that expensive. Uh, five to $10, depending on where you get them from. I will then take and I put an grommet in there, a grommet kit, another maybe 10 bucks to be able to just get the kit, which has got multiple grommets in it. And then the bungee, Balls, the bungee balls, you can get a set of these for like, you can get like 40 of them for like 10, $15 on Amazon. I know I actually, I just recently replenished my kit because I use these for a lot of things around the studio. And then just a couple bucks to be able to get some of the eyelets, put it in there. Put these in your hallway, put it up there, boom. It's gonna so cut down on the sound that's coming through to wherever your office area, your office location is. I do highly recommend it. I actually will put up a couple of layers. I'll put one in one hallway and one in another hallway, and that's just because of how my home is positioned. But uh, in really desperate situations, I will put the moving blankets, and that's why I use a lot of these bungee straps. I will take them and put them around different places within my office as well because again I don't want those outside sounds whether it be from outside it was somebody maybe mowing their lawn or even if it be somebody in the house their TVs get loud or the animals start barking all of this helps tremendously cut that down and help the professionalism and quality of what you're able to then do when you're in that online environment when you're on that webinar or maybe even to live in that webinar now Still living. I, I hate when I mess up words, especially when I try not to edit. I give you the real raw videos of this one. Here's proof. But if you got any questions, you can email me, Kevin at paymentsprofessor.com. If you missed any videos in the series, well, just go to uh, YouTube. Yeah, that's where the videos are, Professor. Yeah. YouTube. If you go to your YouTube channel, uh, forward slash C, forward slash payments professor. We have all the videos out there for you. I look forward to hearing your comments, hearing your questions. If there's anything else you want, let me know. I'll make sure to get that for you. Otherwise, hope you're having a fantastic day.